subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video welcome to chel gate ec lecture we are in lecture number 52 and now we are going to discuss a very special subject that is eigen function or some people call it as a eigen function or eigen values eigen values and eigen function both are different that is a very simple concept that we are going to discuss here bahut sare cheez hai eigen values eigen function detail hum log mathematics mein padhenge but here things that i'm going to discuss with you is explicitly useful for your only signals and system question bhi ek do aate hain engineering service mein so please be careful with the things that i'm going to teach you that much only okay in the next video lecture we'll get into a very simple concept that is orthogonality property of orthogonality these two these two uh, subject are completely independent they don't belongs to signal system but there are as there are couple of questions that is asked through this through this like uh, terminology through this theory through this concept like there will be a question in fourier transform will be there there is a question which can be solved through um convolution but the question has been asked through this eigen function or orthogonality property ke upar so we need to understand these two subjects first then we'll get into fourier series and fourier transform so pehle eigen function ko jante hain so if the response of the system if the response of the system if the response of the system for an input function xt is same as that of input is same as that of input except 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 a scalar multiple then the input function then the input function is called as eigen function eigen function eigen function clear this input function ko hum log bolte hain eigen function if if after applied after, after applying this like देखो हमारे पास एक ऐसा सिस्टम है जिसमें हम अगर ये इनपुट देते हैं तो आउटपुट हमारे इनपुट के टर्म पे ही आता है तो हम इस इनपुट को बोलेंगे इगन फंक्शन क्लियर प्लीज हैव क्लैरिटी इन दिस थिंग एंड द स्केलर मल्टीपल इज कॉल्ड एज स्केलर मल्टीपल इज कॉल्ड एज इगन वैल्यू और सम पीपल इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट एज फेजर और स्केलर एनी थिंग दैट यू कैन कॉल इट ओके not anything that you can call it you, you can call it as a eigen value in some some cases it call as eigen values or in some cases it is called as scalar it uh, and in some cases it, it is called as phasor okay very simple thing now look here carefully so this can can this this kind of output is only obtained when your impulse response is a into del t clear this is what we know so if you applying x of t you might get a into x of t if you are applying x of t minus t not that is time shifted format in the output you will get the time shifted format that means this value this input function this fu input function is nothing but a what eigen function clear so very simple concept itna hi yaad rakhna hai okay to chaliye hum ek question karte hain the question is saying ki discrete time lti system which is having an impulse response h of n impulse response matlab h of n h of n ye iska value hai ye like h of n is 2 when n equals to minus 2 2 h of n is 1 when n equals to minus 1 1 okay it doesn't matter you just need to understand what is the concept mathematical analysis hum log yahan pe kar nahi rahe so this is your h of n and to this system we are applying x of n which is nothing but e to the power j n pi by 2 so we need to find out what is the response we need to find out what is the response so this is your system to which we are applying e to the power j n pi by 2 which is x n now we need to find out y n y n is nothing but h of n convolution of x n और एक्स एन कन्वोल्यूशन एफ एच एन नाउ एक्स एन की जगह पे ई टू दी पार जे एन पाई वाई टू आई आई पुट हियर ई टू दी पार जे एन पाई वाई टू एच एफ किन को एच एफ एन रहा नाउ हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट फोर यर ट्रांसफॉर्म थिंग ओके फोर यर ट्रांसफॉर्म के कॉन्सेप्ट फोर यर्स के कॉन्सेप्ट विल गेट इन टू एन अंडरस्टैंड इन फोर ईयर बट देर इज स्मॉल थिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड हियर विच जस्ट गो थ्रू इट लाइक आपको कन्फ्यूज होने की कोई जरूरत नहीं हम लोग फिर जाके वहाँ पे क्लियर हो जाएगा बट आप ये बस आप इतना जानो कि वांस यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस थिंग इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन दिस कन्वोल्यूशन दिस कन्वोल्यूशन इन टाइम डोमेन व्हेन एनी टाइम डोमेन थिंग व्हेन एनी एक्सप्रेशन इन टाइम डोमेन इट इज कन्वर्टेड टू फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सो कन्वोल्यूशन इन टाइम डोमेन विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू 
converted to multiplication in frequency domain clear so if convolution is there in uh, time domain in frequency domain it will be it will be multiplication and these are the frequency transformed frequency transformed formation okay in in place of e j e e to the power j n pi by 2 i replaced in place of pi by 2 that is omega naught omega naught is a angular frequency we'll we'll understand even if you don't understand anything we'll, we'll you'll have clarity once you are done with the fourier transform but here it's just a very simple thing which is required i'll tell you the concept but here you just need to know ki if e to the power j n omega naught is the input if this is your input you are going to have an output like this like in output you will have this input and there is a scalar multiple there is a scalar multiple there is a scalar multiple clear now we need to find out the scalar multiple this is called as your eigen value this is called as your eigen function this is it input function is called as your eigen function look here carefully so let's find out the eigen value eigen value can be nothing but expressed as which is which is defined as k which is ranging from minus 2 to 2 jaise ki aapko h of n ka value given tha so you need to put this value and if you do put this value and if you find it out like e to the power like by term by term if you find it out this value will come out to be minus 4 theek hai aap ek bar find karna hai sab ke value find karna maine sab ka value find nahi kiya but ye answer minus 4 hi aayega theek hai so h of j omega we got minus 4 so h of j omega h of j omega that we got minus 4 this is nothing but your eigen value so eigen value or eigen value whatever you can say uh, that we got is your minus 4 clear so y of n your total response is nothing but your input into input into input into eigen value scalar multiple clear so at the end we got your answer y of n which is nothing but your input e to the power j n pi by 2 into your scalar multiple or eigen value there is one other kind of question which can also be asked to look here carefully it is saying ki you have a x of t here and output or the response that you are getting t into e to the power j 5 t e to the power j 5 t okay so it is saying whether it is a lti or not lti it is saying कि देखो 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 यहाँ पे input को input आ रहा है और यहाँ पे भी देखो एक scalar multiple type का कुछ रह रहा है so whether it is a LTI or not LTI answer is it is not LTI why it is not LTI because complex exponential R eigen function of LTI system it is a very important statement please remember this statement okay complex exponential R eigen function eigen or eigen function of LTI system so the input e to the power j theta it has to produce an output of the form of e to the power j theta clear it is there no it is there but where a is also has to be in complex form that is important okay where a it has to be a complex form which is a is not in the terms of complex form clear that is why it is a not lti system it is a not lti system please please revisit this question write it down in terms of it's a very important question i think exam mein aaya hua question hai fir aur ek exam mein aaya hua question chalo discuss karte hain i think ye engineering service ya fir gate exam ko ye question mein aaya hai aur public sector mein bhi ye question repeat kiya hai theek hai dono question look here another question the response of a system is to a complex input the response of a system is the response of system is to a complex input that means if my yt if my yt is a response who's uh, for input e to the power j 8t okay so it is saying ki yt is given as cos 8t that means it is saying ki mera output output cos 8t hai if your input is ej 8t so whether it is system is lti or not lti chalo ye baat आपको बहुत क्लैरिटी के साथ जानना है लुक या केयरफुली आउटपुट इज नथिंग बट कॉस 8t कॉस 8t कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एट एज e टू द पावर j 8t प्लस e टू द पावर माइनस j 8t डिवाइडेड बाय 2 दैट मींस हियर यू कैन सी इट इज हैविंग अ इनपुट टाइप का इनपुट टाइप का एक्सपोनेंशियल ओके कूल नाइस बट देयर इज अनदर एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म व्हिच इज हैविंग अ डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑफ माइनस 8 दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी इज एट ऑफ माइनस 8 प्लीज रिमेंबर अंटिल एंड अनलेस एन एलटीआई सिस्टम can never produce a 
a complex a complex exponential of frequency minus 8 until and unless there was there there was a complex exponential of the same frequency at its input clear this complex exponential as that of equal um, frequency that is 8 it is there at input side it is there at input side like in ASA minus 8 frequency ka koi bhi input input side mein nahi hai so it is impossible so that is why it is not LTI system so it is not it is not available at input input side frequency of minus 8 is not available at input side thank you so much for watching this video lecture thank you so much for your patience in the next video lecture we'll go and discuss um, uh, about couple of couple of, couple of concepts regarding orthogonality and couple of questions which are very simple and basic questions which will be useful for your gate exam uh, that we are going to discuss in the next video lecture so keep watching chill see you bye